Uh, we. Oui. All right. Chicken wings. Well, what's up, everyone? Hey, Welcome well, to the what's up? stream. I'm back from being a spy. Yep. And I'm back from being. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Sturgio played Spy Fox. If you're wondering, because like again, he didn't yeah. see his message. Although what is kind of funny is that the way that Dasher segued from his uh, Bond lyrics, it kind of made me think like we transitioned from 007 into Mario Brothers. <laughs> well, we didn't transfer to the Mar from the Mario Brothers. I know the damn. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. All right. It's completely flying over Vass's head. Well, well I, I, I totally understand what you're saying, but I, I, I didn't, don't really want to do, derail this. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't want to mm -hmm. play Spy Fox. No, we're not going to do that. It's just a quick yeah. That's what this train for. Uh, Let's get this puppy started. Okay. Yay. Mm -hmm. Puppy. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm on. Share the screen, share the screen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. Hey, Just hey, a little quick hey, thing to, to that. So, I thought I, this is a mistake on my part, so I'm still gonna be able to be here for at least uh, three and a half hours. But uh, yeah, that 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 that's still still a fine, fine enough time a, as is. So yeah. so it's nothing to worry mm -hmm. about. Like every stream doesn't have to be like about uh, everything doesn't have to be about uh, like. Like uh, more than uh, more than four hours. Yeah. Just saying. No. Anyways. Uh, okay. Let's get the show on the road. All right. So yeah. so. As, as There's we said, trouble in the land. I'm in trouble. Okay. We were still trying to. Uh, uh, we need to get to the person that uh, should uh, help us with this matter. But uh, but what? I just want to go go over a little detour because because Why like um, because there are some areas unlocked that have been. Not seen yet. No, you never used uh, Jody's uh, power. What? Jody's power. Remember. Well, well, there are more side quests. Okay. 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 Let's complete these side quests. Uh, well, it's not going to be all side quests. Like, uh, we we may be like uh, progressing through the story, like some time. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, and by yeah, the way, I, okay. Yeah. I was able to, with the help of my sister, make one of the recipes from my FF14 book, the Super Elixir. Oh, nice! nice. We cool. didn't have some of the spices in it, but my goodness, it tasted great. Nice. Oh, uh, speaking of which, um, do I have permission to post that one uh, burger recipe? Back in culinary arts, or is that still considered spoiler territory? Oh, oh. what? What do you mean? Spoiler uh, I, are you, if it's in reference to the no. we then don't. Oh no, no, no! This is Final Fantasy. Ah. Yeah, at that point, no, nah, well, it won't be a spoiler. No, well, okay. I. It, the the, the only reason I bring it up is because when I initially posted it. Bastard told me that it fell under spoilers because we haven't gotten because they haven't gotten to that point in the story. Oh. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately so because like, uh, well, I, I don't want to. Well, two recipes is fine, but doing stuff with the arcade with Alvin is a whole different story. Well, how so? Well, how do I put this? It's a little. It's. Well, it feels like whenever you post it, like, I know like, it's not for me to watch it, but sometimes I get a little tempted. I just oh, can't. it's, oh, it's, it's one of those kind of like, it's, it's, it's nothing inherently bad, but it just, but it kind of eats up into your brain of just kind of like, I must make it. Mm. No, I, I, I don't mean like that. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I was a. No. But yeah, I did take a few pictures of my version of the elixir and. Hey, it tastes good. 
<laughs> Wait, dude, I, I'm, 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 I'm practically doxing where my current AO when I say this, but I had Carl's Jr. and it was delicious. I, I love Carl's Jr. Oh. Love I, I need, oh, there you see. I need to double check to see where, uh, where, uh, At least Carl's where, the near, where, where the nearest one is for me. Well, uh, on, on a lighter note, I can put that in Culture Talk because uh, Izzy's just made another video uh, going over two years later after the Garfield Eats guy, so I thought it would be nice to see uh, oh, her yeah. summary of it. Apparently, like, as I didn't realize, this this, this looks like even, like, war the situation did, did it really got out of hand. Like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm glad Izzy did, did cover the locale. that. Yeah, he's a huge, humongous locale. Uh, but uh, all, all of, all of that, all of that, the Garfield eats uh, guys did it. That was all of his daddy's money. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. second, yeah, I, I thought you were talking about like Billy. Like, no, like I'm talking about the guy who uh, opened up Garfield eats and his, uh, his uh, loony, like literally and, and, and everything. Yeah. And curse meals. Yeah. You know, not only cursed meals, just him, he himself, because uh, he went out also to try to make his own uh, Garfield OC character. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 well, the, the OC is just, just himself. Field. Yeah, I know, it's that field. What? Uh, oh, sorry, Zirkin. Sorry. Something just came up on my end. Uh, yeah, you just told me to go do what you need to do. It could get, oh, no. oh, yeah. Literally. As in, like, something just occurred immediately, and then, bam, it just look, undid look, itself, so... Look, oh, it, it, <laughs> look, you have to give me proof of uh, if, if the Batfield thing is actually true. Yes, it is! <laughs> you didn't think Natfield was true? Oh, it is? No, no, you have to show me evident that's a proof. Okay, I will get it for you. Hey. I, oh, I, oh, I, oh I, I, I think I just... Uh, I, I, I will be the first to say you asked for it. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I'm, you cured, better... I'm scared as to what's going to happen, but I find it funny. Mm. Okay, okay, sorry about that. I... Oh, no, no, Vasily, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Oh, oh, oh. Ye of little faith. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Um, no, Vas. Just... These are the consequences. All right. That's... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dude, dude's that, got yeah. Money. He can do whatever the hell he wants. That's yeah, a. Whatever. That's a. That's. Yeah. That, that's uh, uh I. The, that's kind of fool. Uh, like I. I probably never seen that in Izzy's video at all. Like probably. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more. There goes that. Uh, oh yeah. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. He made his own Nathfield merchandise. Oh, my okay. goodness. Jim Davis didn't give a crap, so, yep. So, no, he didn't. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, from the side view of his 2D version, he looks pretty much from like a failed character from a humongous entertainment game. I Very know, right? Intergaging. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You know, you know what it almost kind of reminds me of? It almost kind of reminds me of like you know the concept drafts for characters and like 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 the second iteration for what would be Bubsy. No, God, no. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Your creation will look wrong. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> remember uh, DP uh, when uh, Garfield eats failed. Remember he just repackaged everything as Scooby Doo eats because he got that license too. Oh yeah, mm. and. and, and, it, and it, and it was all still the expired rants and stuff. Yeah, the expired lasagna, because, you know, Scooby-Doo was a big uh, proponent of eating lasagna instead of Scooby snacks. Lasagna. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. I mean, Scooby was kind yeah. of an omnivore with most foods. Yeah, he did anything. He and Shaggy. I, I, all right. You, 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 well, you know what, Vass? I mean, you you asked for it, and I delivered. You're like, you yes, want a yes, fair yes. proof? Can we just move on? Oh, Hold on, I'm almost yeah. done. Oh, sure. What? Yeah, yeah. Where's I'm just you, you. You can watch uh, these at, at, at your at your leisure. I'm just doing the stuff. I already did. I already did watch them. Okay. No, no, no. I meant like the the images. Like, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I actually I I saw them. Okay. Okay. Jeez, you don't need, need to question whether I saw them or, or not. 
I no, no, you just re I remember you said, oh, well, no, you gotta show me proof, uh, Ruble, I don't believe you. I so did like, saw uh, the proof. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another mysteries mechanism. How fun. Tana looks like there's supposed to be a bridge here. I think this pedestal is connected. Maybe we need one to keep key to fit in that hole. Come on, let's just wait across the river. It's like two feet deep. Allison, this water's glowing neon blue. So? That can't be good for you. It's probably so supercharged with mana or electrodes or something. What's so dangerous about mana river? Aren't our bodies full of mana now? Your body is also full of blood. But if you just saw a river of blood, you wouldn't want to take a sip, would you? I mean, I mean yeah. no, but if you told me not to, I'd be a little tempted. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what, what Maybe it is, that was a vampire, I would. No, it, what it is, uh, it's just like, the, no, the water's like that because Dr. Fred all has his whole nuclear cooling rods down there. So it's just right <laughs> oh, yeah. water. Dude, I, was, I was thinking of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance where all those electrolytes. Who's, who's Dr. Fred? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 right, right, right. right the pool was uh, where he kept his nuclear reactor. The cooling rods were in there, so yeah. the blue, uh, so the pool always had this neon blue glow oh, to it. it yeah oh yeah in the day the tentacle or was that no no uh, the original original because because so, the thing is one of the deaths was that you could have the kid go down there and then you could refill the pool and then the uh, kid would die to radiation poisoning yeah Oof. well you just have to refill the pool so then all that all that radiated water comes right back in it's a 20 foot uh deep pool so <laughs> it's not gonna work but and that's what the hulk drinks on a daily basis <laughs> and look at him, he's healthy and strong. Okay. Yeah, also super buff as hell. Uncanny yes, he is. But also super dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I like it when they Wait, make the, they should have made the great hall the first. I know we got the uh, the ancient oh, key, yeah. but did that that didn't do anything there, Vess? Um, I, I kind of skipped the dialogue a bit. They had bit. to distance themselves I, I, from I, I, their I, first I, attempt at the hole. Oh I, 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 I I I kind of fumbled a bit because I didn't re realize. Well, I, I know you got the you, you got the ancient key, but the only thing else I can think is just that door he kept going by. Yeah, they had to distance themselves all, all, all from that. All right, that. all right, I'll, I'll. Well, what did I have to distance myself? I I I forgot the important no, dialogue. It was, it was, uh, uh, Dasher was talking about the Incredible Hole. Yeah, this is probably this one. So it would be, go oh, straight to green instead of gray then green. Or he actually has dialogue and speech, but you know, it's '90s Hulk. '90s Hulk's when they had all the um, the smart ass speech. Oh yeah. Did they? Let's well. Because, let's uh, say when it more Capcom, the better. Uh, when Capcom made uh, the Marvel superhero series, that that's the, they they the very talkative Hulk. That's the one that they based off of when they made uh, the sprite for uh, the character. Nice. Yeah. Marvel, versus Capcom? Marvel versus Capcom line said all this and I can oh. I can all this and I can tote bales. Money. Yep. All the moolah. Yep. Money. Three rings. Now, this money, money. Key should work in there maybe. You know, you can kind of attach ancient key to valve. You have me. <laughs> um. You know, speaking of, of tech issues, uh, Sturkio, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Um, I got I got Journeyman Project Three Legacy of Time to work, but I'm having this issue where the video just plays so freaking fast that the audio uh, can't even can't even sync correctly at all, and so it just it, it just completely like out of sync, um, like not just like maybe a frame or two, but like ah. uh, like 10, 15 seconds, and I cannot fix it. I've been trying to do different sound samples, even going through QuickTime Player because it's it, a game that still uses QuickTime Player. It's still I can't get the th dang thing to sync. For that, either it's your frame rate that you need to lock mm -hmm. at either 30 or lower in order to get the game to work, because sometimes some old games and the modern one lock their frame rate to a specific frame rate. It's 30 at most for the yeah. uh, Journeyman was. Uh, Dream Man 3 was uh, 1998. Okay, exactly. Let's try the but key he... we found. I'll, I'll look into that because uh, I might have some time tomorrow after work. Uh, I'll try to give it because like the, the thing is that I'm trying to solve this before thing because it's it's ruining the FMVs, but everything else runs fine. Mm. Whoa. You know this place. 
I had no idea there was a sediment like this in the valley. Uh, I see you like finally made it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You can say we have our hands full. I see you like found your stripy friend with the muscles. <laughs> I guess my reputation precedes me. Hey, how come there are so many people here? We need a key just to get in. Do all these people seriously have keys? This place is like was supposed to be a secret haven for those creatures of the forest and they can't defend themselves against the supernatural entities out there. Of course, like before long, Emperor's came knocking on my door looking for a place to rest and trade wares. I mean, I'm supposed, I don't know how to say no. I tell everyone not to make like copies of their keys for their friends, but well, they do it anyway. So annoying. Yeah. There aren't usually this many people here at once, though. Even just need, need everyone just needs a place to hunker down with increased monster activity. Strange things have been like happening here in the valley, even stranger than usual. Which is exactly the problem we're trying to solve. Well, now that, now that we're here, what's that odd job you had for us? Uh, yes, that. Come on, come to talk to me when you've got like a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. well, thank you, Ray. Oh. Oh, there's one. Uh, hello there. Okay, there's a lot of people. Hey! Oh, yeah, those two. Hey, Beth, the beast. Hey, look who it is! What are our favorite parts doing out What are my favorite parts doing out here? So, was it me for this one? Yeah, yeah, you were I mean, Beth. Yeah, you were trying to do like, Supreme, kind of like she. Yeah, she's yeah, a we were going to yeah. hang out in the tavern, but they served us go in there. And we wow, to never break edge. You know, they wouldn't just had, hand you a drink on Friday without seeing your IDs, right? Regardless. I mean, more like, what are you doing in the valley? Testing our metal as bard, of course. But, eh, well, we've seen how it is right out there. It's pure chaos. We're lucky we made it here. Okay. Who was Mary? I, who, who, I, was it me that did this, or? Yeah. Those <laughs> frog balls are, are bloodthirsty, yo. So we've decided our metal has been sufficiently tested. And now we're just chilling here in the sanctuary. But we haven't forgotten our other vow. The one to repay you for saving us from that block of ice. We're still brainstorming that one. We'll get back to you. <laughs> what about, I don't know, using your barley skills to write us a commercial jingle for our guild? Uh, no one watch TV anymore, Grandma. Uh, so sad. Well, it was nice catching up with you. Oh. Hey, I remind you guys, anyone? I have no idea what you're talking about, Jody. Stop <laughs> it. <Do> it. <laughs> one word. Oh, wait, okay. isn't that, uh, oh, Betty the adorable... Oh. Emerald Armor. Betty that the what? Like stand. <laughs> yeah. Who remembers the, the, the Doom Guy's bunny? I'll be right back. Oh, that was oh, Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, yeah. Mm. That was Daisy. Daisy. Mm -hmm. I, I can barely hear what you were saying, Dasher. Oh. You're coming in fuzzy. Oh, sorry. The I, Doom Guy's bunny was Daisy. Ah. No, no, that's when he all screwed no, up. No, that's what's happening afterwards. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Right, young. Well, yeah, they, they appeared at the end of the first Doom game. Yep. Oh, wait, uh, Rugal. You said you were playing the Journeyman's Project, right? Journeyman Project 3, Legacy of Time. Have you tried Pegasus Prime? Well, uh, that's going to be, uh, uh, um, Bass is going to be doing Price Pegasus Prime. Ah, right, yeah. it's all good. We already got, uh, we tested it last night, works just fine. Over here, you dummy. That, that got to run smoothly because uh, that one was um, produced and paid for by Bandai uh, Visual to get that out there because uh, they were the ones that published it for Power Macintosh and then um, Presto. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, Sanctuary Woods was going out of business. They had to uh, use their own money to port it to other things, but due to the low sales that Sanctuary Woods was facing, that's why it never made it to the United States PlayStation or the Sega Saturn. But it was on a, the Japanese... PlayStation and the Apple Pippin. 
Yes, that's one of the uh, consoles of the 90s with the Apple Pippin. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's, it was a failure. Also, we yeah. will already found something that might help you with the uh, Journeyman 3. Yep. Uh, let me see about that one. Yeah, because like the biggest thing is like I did try to do the whole thing about switching uh, the sound and all that, and it did not. Um, it, work. it wasn't the issue with the sound system. It's more an issue with the video and some of the internal part of the game itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll need to. Uh, I'll need to uh, work on that when I uh, get a chance. I'm back. Thanks. Oh, back. oh, this guy here is yeah, taking yeah. much. <gasps> oh man! So they, yeah, they made this guy yeah, uh, oh a pretty God. powerful mini boss. Pretty powerful. He quite literally one shot Jody. Uh, I mean Tier Claire. Rival. Tier rival. That was two shot. I I got kind of fucked it up. Still, Claire nearly just ended up like Clover, Clover to death. Mm -hmm. Oh, not bad. Okay, maybe. Also, maybe. Did, did you have anything on him, or you already did that? Also, I don't know why, but the fact that he has big effing arms remind me so much of the Gluckens from Ape Odyssey. It reminds me <laughs> of a JoJo stand hello that a Star Platinum mode, the world. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to... Ah, oh, man, I can't think of the cartoon off the top of my head, but the gag was like... Oh, it was, uh, it was, um, it was Cat Dog. Dog got so hugely buffed that he started to walk with his arms, that's it. <laughs> No, uh, that that was also one of the uh, um, crime bosses that uh, Sly Cooper dealt with in the first game. Oh yeah, mugshot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, mugshot. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, he, he had little tiny legs because uh, he only worked his arms. And the guy who only worked his arms, that was uh, ZZ, and his stand was we love fortune. Yeah, the car stand. Yeah. Ah uh, yes. Although it was hilarious seeing what the car actually was after they were standing. The driver, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was just a, 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 a heat, but they still were able to use it to get out of Pakistan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goodness, that freaking rock attack was... Jesus and, and he's got the Christ. superior defense. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna like, uh, change. Yeah, Shut you up. need a lot of upgrades there. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Okay, whenever I... Say, okay, don't, don't, don't still know when I, whenever I say I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, storming myself. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, well, I could give you this, Val, uh, Vass, after that uh, hard fight. What? There you go, hydrate hole. You're, you're making me drink, drink the strawberry banana one. Oh, did you already finish? I thought you, fi uh, you didn't finish the other one from last night. The I, I already did finish it. The meme drink. Okay. Uh, uh, strawberry banana uh, ice cream sounds about? good right now. Okay. Yeah, we're this... talking about the one from like those two individuals that shall not be named, or well, Logan Paul and KSI. Yes, yes those two individuals. <laughs> you you can name them all you want. Logan Paul again. You can see Logan Paul on WWE TV every week. Yeah, what? I mean, oh, I think I think he means more so like, is it taboo to say it in the stream chat? Oh, you know, it's not. Mm. I mean, the, the, again, Prime people drink Prime. I mean, like it's at concerts, sporting events, and everything. Like they've made a killing off that. Of... Uh, I, uh, Logan Paul's a divisive figure, to say the least. Oh, su super divisive. Especially uh, continuously especially... a huge lapse in judgment. Yes. Yeah. He was... with, the biggest, with the biggest one centering on with the whole deal with CoffeeZilla, as he kind of like exposes a lot of things. Well, and the fact that he's uh, not allowed in Japan ever again. Mm. Yeah, the dude is, I, I don't use this term very lightly, but he is a narcissist. Well, because, again, it's it's the whole, he was one of the many Vine refugees. Vine was like an, an, an insane asylum, uh, uh, just trying to keep back all of these loonies from getting out, from the, the Tana Mon Mongos and everybody else. They once, once Vine finally let open the doors and failed, they all rushed out into society, and there you go. And that's why you got your Logans, you got your Tanacons, and uh, your Jake Pauls telling people to dab on haters. Hmm. I, mean, I wonder if the CIA specifically, like, engineered Vine to, as a test experiment. 
Nah. Maybe, I mean, did any if anyone ever saw those videos, especially from uh, not not just the Paul brothers, but again, if you remember how Tana was on there, and I tell people Tana started out as uh, Chris Farley, as in just would fall over, flop, get hit by stuff, and all stuff. That's mm -hmm. where she got famous. I her, never her, heard of them. Oh, you, you know what? You know, you know TanaCon. Like she was like, oh, nope. I don't like the way Big Con is. I'm making my own con, and then had like five thousand plus people show up, and and people were getting dehydrated, and it was a horrible, horrible. Like, cause she's like, I'll make my own con with blackjack and hookers, and failed miserably because you it, it, it's it's it's. Why have I never short. heard of this? Hookers come on, hookers. I was big. I remember. It was I, everybody I was talking heard, about. I, I never heard of it. Well, DP, it ranks up there with the the world's or like the the worst cons ever. Like up there with Tumblr Con, or Dash Con, everything. Like it's Tana Con. It, it lives in infamy. There, there, there's That's no Tumblr right. Con. I, it's only Dash Con. Dash Con. I know. Uh, I I've I've never heard because. Yeah. Well, I think the main reason why Deadpool and I never heard of it is because the other one were either happening right at the same time, or we just were not there, nor cared about what the heck was going on. Yeah, yeah. a lot of, a lot of, she had a lot of young fans, and a lot of them passed out to heat stroke and heat exhaustion because she didn't expect 10,000 plus people hell that she wanted to do her con of, which was like three miles from the uh, VidCon of that year. Mm. So it, it did get big, big news, you know, because there was a huge fucking well, sea of people. Big. Yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was definitely part of the crowd that just did not care for it, therefore I never knew of it. Yeah. I mean, I'll I need to go to a con con or a con in general once in my life, but like, I'm I am not familiar with most con these days, unfortunately enough. That's that's fine. It, uh, a lot of them are missed. Some like have stayed the test of time, but a lot of them just mm. like you're that's not missing anything by doing it. You, you're really going there either sit with friends or for the experience, but you know that either you're gonna have to pay a lot or um yeah. you're gonna get you're gonna get somebody's gonna get sick and you're gonna get sick afterwards. Oh yeah. yeah. Like in a few days, I'm gonna go to Ot Otaku Found at Montreal. It's gonna be a fun Ooh. time. Otaku Found, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I want to point that out about the enemy, just so that we don't derail too far. He got the freaking finger armor. Ooh. Well, yeah, they protect his fingers. You aren't you aren't here, you haven't <laughs> used your. <laughs> what the? What? Oh, uh, so this is so this is his state when he's like deflated of most of his uh, most of his toughness. But no, Sircon, he has uh, he has uh, thimbles on each finger. All right, uh, DP, I will uh, put this in culture talk for you too. So this is the one when you get a chance. This is Magic Much videos on cons that weren't Dash Con that were you, catastrophic. You, you posted the video twice. Oh, I did. Wait, really? Yes. Where? Uh, Where's the first one? one? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll unshit and I'll just keep posting on the last Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, I don't think DP goes there, so that's the reason. I miss going to Comic Cons. They used to have them down here, but they stopped. I apologize. They used to have them in New Orleans, too. Mm. I really, really wish I could have gone to E3 when it was actually good. Well, oh, yeah, I hear ya. The 90s. When it was good, it was like, back in the 90s. The 90s, 2000, end of 2015. Oh, no, you, you posted it fast. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, you posted that magic must have been. I didn't. Yeah. Man, that dude is strong. Yeah. And now he's dead. He's He had a chest he was uh, grabbing. He was containing it. Hey, Ed. Mimic. Bah! No, wonderful. Oh. It's cute. Hold on, we're, we're cool, actually. Normally I would attack you guys for funsies, but you scared off that monster that was giving me a hard time. <laughs> so, oh, so we this. saved the princess? Question mark? Peace. <laughs> what? Oh, no. oh, hey, and now we have a shortcut. That's nice. Was... I, honestly, I I'm not really even going to bother. I, 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 have nice. to, I have to admit that that was actually a darling reward. <laughs> mm. yeah, what, 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 what,
Okay, there, there's a lot of characters in this uh, town. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go back to our friend that we haven't seen? Well, Raphael. All right, we'll, we'll start with Raphael. Right next to Donatello. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Michelangelo. Need some provisions? Oh, if it isn't my little paladin friend from the other day, you are certainly a long way from Greenridge. I take it your adventuring duties are going well. Hmm. Or perhaps they've been better. Mm -hmm. Apologies, I shouldn't have prodded. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'm surprised to bump into you again, though. I thought you'd be off to the Spire Island by now. That was the plan, yes. But as you no doubt know, adventurers often need to change plans on the fly. I intended to drop off a small ship in here and leave, but with the islands currently off from hey. mainland, I've been forced to stay longer. In the meantime, I've set up shop here. If I'm going to be stuck here, I might as well at least make a few sales. How's business? The news reporter over yonder makes his little assistant run over here and ask for a diet potion about every two hours. I do not sell diet potions, if such a thing even exists. They aren't soda. The imp knows this, of course, but is forced to come and ask about it anyway. He then has to trot back to his boss, ask if a regular potion is okay, and return to me to buy a single potion. We have done this 15 times now. I'm not even sure how Mr. Man drinks them, given his condition. But I'm not the one to turn down a sale. Speaking of sales, need some provisions? Yes, yes, absolutely. I got any salted meats? I have mega ethers and tears of revival, and a picnic basket. We definitely and, just uh, did revivals. Hey, Raphael, can you tell us more about those treasure map, please? You're only asking this now, after you purchase? <laughs> to tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure what treasures these maps lead to. It could be gold, or perhaps an item of particular value. I sourced them from a friend, and I would trust with my life, though, yeah. so rest assured, they're quite mm. genuine. Oh, mm. and wait, also, wait a minute. Well, so, so have you seen... In uh, hold on. What is it? Vest? No, no, like, it's supposed to, like, have voice bud. No, I, I, I guess it was, like, minimized or something. Like, I was I was worried about, like, hey, why isn't, like, uh, like, uh, wait, if voice mod isn't, like, 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 open... What? I was, I was uh, like wondering if my voice wasn't open, like you wouldn't be able to, no one will be able to hear me right now. But but apparently it's been open running this whole time. Oh, so, I haven't I, 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 heard your voice modded at all. Interesting. Yeah, I've I've, I've been here, been able to hear you as is. <laughs> yeah, this isn't like what you do, um, man. Probably. Just before we move out, uh, have you seen that little otter in the water? Like just move a bit upper. Yeah, yeah. Get a little otter there. Aw. Oh. Also mood. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the other shops first. Before we talk to anyone else. Yeah. Okay, who do you want to talk to next first? Uh Snake. Okay, who's gonna be gonna be voice? Uh, okay. Libra. Hot to the face, not the tail. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about. about? Welcome to my shop, travelers. I'm Libra. If you have the coin, I would be willing to part with some of the, my valuables. Magic books. Wow, some of these are pretty rare. Where do you get these? I can assure you all these spell books here were acquired legitimately. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Like what? Pray tell. <laughs> like the way that makes it sound. Like you definitely didn't acquire this stuff legitimately. You saw like. What are you? A cop? Does the source of my wares really matter when you're trying to save the world? Well, we put it like How that. Do you know the word is at stake? Lucky guess, I suppose. You hero types are all the same. Always off trying to stop one global threat to another, like the Avengers. Guilty as world. charged. It's a tough world out there. I'm just trying to get by with my totally 100% legally obtained goods. Yeah. Rugal. All right, just a moment. And these books won't curse us or anything. Do you want them to curse you or not? Nah? That costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're good. You don't need curses. <laughs> okay, I'll get Bartholomew. Hey, Shaw in the Dark, you ever met Bartholomew Leon? I haven't heard that name in a while. But yes, 
I have met the old codger. What makes you think I would know him? Is it because I seem like a villainous type? Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> I was just curious. He tells a lot of stories about the days as a villain, but how many of them are true? Oh, like lots of them, I'm sure. He's quite fearsome in his youth, always trying to conquer reverie. He never succeeded on that front, of course, but it's the bravado that matters. He still comes up in villain circles from time to time as an influential figure. Er, not that I would be privy to such conversations. But he of gave course. But he gave it all up to raise his daughter. A waste of talent, if you ask me. I suppose it was impressive that he created his little Catherine in a cauldron with dark magics and though It's you, Wait, <laughs> what? what? He didn't know? Old Bartholomew never married, so he created a successor of his own. Which you, they usually do. Of course, little Catherine turned out painfully normal. Now his granddaughter Pepper, on the other hand, she's gone places. She's got a dark future ahead of her, I just know it. Er, not that I would condone committing any <laughs> crimes or act of villainy as a law-abiding merchant. What do you need, travelers? Interface, My god, he's such a girl. Money, money bags. Money bags. Yeah. Yeah. On your pocket, try these other uses for it. Gold gun, shiny distraction, emergency health care. Oh. I, 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 oh, I, yeah. I, okay, okay. That, 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 that's something I actually give, give to Allison. That last one hits a bit too close to home. Yeah, well, uh, yeah last we got to see what emergency health care does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, skills. Uh, <laughs> uh, fires off about like gold coins at the target to deal. Oh, that needs money anyway. Oh, that that's good. Yeah, gold coins on the ground to strike all enemies, lowering their XC rate by 50% for three turns. The best health care money can buy. Fully revise a far fallen party member in exchange for gold. Ooh. Um, I, I, I also feel like uh, uh, Mario RPG esque skills. That, it it that also kind of reminds me of um, the first Zelda game where the arrow count was tied to your rupee count. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, like, similar. It's a secret to everyone. Uh, the revived fallen in an ally is actually really good. Because that means you can keep the MP of Flair. And just have that revive with the emergency health care. Oh my god, that it's busted. Oh, uh, American vast. capitalism at its finest. Yeah. Uh, what would you think of what I had tonight for dinner? <laughs> it's uh, interesting. You never had uh, Didia before? No. Oh, very, very delicious um, uh, seasoned meat. Uh, it's caught on pretty big. It, it, uh, they usually do it, you know, um, down in Mexico. And they, 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 um, you dip it in its own, uh, consomme sauce. So like, like an au jus, it's the best stuff. Like, I, I, I don't know, Sorkan, if you've ever had birria, but birria is delicious. Very, very tasty meat. If I, if I saw a picture of it, I could probably remember I'm Look at culinary, culinary arts. Uh, that was a birria sandwich. The way that they did the outside of that sandwich is that they, uh, uh, they melted the cheese on top of it so that it had that nice cheese crisp going. Oh, it's so good. And that was a uh, uh, avocado crema next to it, but really the con the, the au jus consomme that the, the meat was uh, cooked in. That was good because they, they cook it for about six hours, the meat. OK, so can we uh, book sorry? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm just I just saying what I had tonight because like you didn't say anything. And then, yeah, the churros were great, too. They used goat milk on those churros. Oh, I'll be right back. I get my clothes from the washer. OK, All right. All right. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll be Mint. Uh, Yay. Hi, my name is Mint. We are the only virus very forge armor. And yes, I get, can guarantee you that all my gear is in Mint condition. Dasher? Dasher? Uh, hey, I was gonna make that. No, say I'm gonna make that joke. Everyone always does. So at some point, I just started making it up for them. Oh, wait, Jody. Hey, good to see you. You too, silly kiddo? There are only so many blacksmiths on the Sapphire Islands. It's a pretty tight-knit community. But hey, glad to see you've got your own little shop set up here. That's awesome. I can't say you're familiar with Fairy Forge armor. What makes this special compared to a regular steel? Well, it was forged by a fairy. That's pretty much it. No special effects? Hey, cut me uh -oh. some slack. Look at how small I am. I'm itty-bitty. 
I'm impressive. I can even swing a hammer at this size. Miss being humble, but trust me, her stuff is worth every penny. I get the rumors are true, though, huh, Judy? You really are an adventurer now. You gonna give Smithy, give up Smithy for good? You be seeing with your talent. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm focusing on the guild right now, but maybe when things settle down, I'll make some gear for the gang. Actually, that gives me an idea. Nice. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, don't do that. You should buy your gift from me instead. That's your. <laughs> that's your. That's your. Uh, you can uh, skip to work on your son. Salesmanship, then, mimic. You right here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what can I say? I'm an artist, not a capitalist. Okay. Alright, so uh, the, the sanctuary. So it brings you to New Old Sanctuary, man. Bears are naturally drawn to places with lots of magic, and this place is off the charts. I can't really explain it. It's an instinctual thing for us. I, I can't really. Uh, we can choose to ignore it. It just feels right. I need to think of it. I'm not even sure I'm aware of any fairy tales on the archipelago. Oh, there's a little fairy settlements all over. We just have to uh, keep it out to ourselves. I mean, it's nothing personal, but fairy buildings just aren't the guys for people your size. So we don't get many outside visitors. I like to get out and meet you people, though. Though it's nice to step down in a place like this. Lots of interesting folks pass through there. Also, no one does a charge friend for myself there. So that's a plus. Why does it feel like Greens is the only place on the Sapphire Island where you have to pay, pay rent? We gotta do something about this. Mint, you gave me a great idea. Oh, really? What would that be? I want to help forge a weapon for myself. Interesting. I'd be down for a collab. What kind of collab do you have in mind? I was thinking. A shield. A shield's not a weapon, Jody. I mean, you ever been bashed by a shield before? Talk to Captain America. As a general rule, I try not to. A fair point. Well, we can make a regular steel shield, but it sounds like you want something more premium. How about this? You bring me some rare ore and I'll help you make a shield out of it. Deal. We'll keep an eye out for suitable materials. Okay. Well, the other thing too is Whoa, that... Oh shit, that's, the, no, that's, that's, that's the expensive. Overall. Yeah, all of it is. Although I, although when you said, well, no, you know, the shield's not a weapon, weapon. I, I, I also thought of like, um, like some, some, some of the minor games where, you know, the shield also has blades. Yeah, yeah. Well, wielding. And then I'm reminded of some of the actual real life shield that can be used as daggers and then bashing yeah. shield and whatnot. No, Jody, Jody wants a Captain America shield. Yeah. Solid vibranium. Not a pile driver. <laughs> yeah, that, that shield will. Uh, that Captain America shield will won't last until Thanos shows up. Mm -hmm. Because uh, although Wakanda does have the means to fully repair it, yeah, I, I'm going again. I'm going off of comic book and cartoons yeah. than movies, but fair enough. Oh no, I was thinking about the economics of it. Like, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> did, did any of you guys see the good news about uh, certain rooster teeth properties? I, I did. No, no. I, I, I was at least glad to see that uh, Ruby was getting a proper home with a well, good studio. Uh, uh, ben and uh, Chad, who uh, who made the series, uh, they were able to finally get the rights uh, secured for uh, Death Battles. So they've got uh, a GoFundMe now to uh, 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 fund more uh, Death Battles. But the the actual the two that created it, you know, and voiced it, you know, was Boomstick. Uh -huh. Yeah, they got they got a hold of it. So uh, if you're wondering, Vass, that Death Battle has been saved. From uh, Rooster Teeth's uh, demise. Um, at, the, at the very wait, least, wait, I well, hope that wait, we wasn't it actually the, uh, like property of Rooster Teeth? Yes, Death Battle. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Through attack, I, I, then, I, 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 I thought it was Screw Attack that, that owned the property. No, remember, because Screw Attack went under, and all of its property got bought up by Rooster Teeth. No. Yeah. Okay. When, when, when Craig, when Sony Craig sold it, that uh, any of the property went to Rooster Teeth. Then once RT has died this year, Ben. Uh, ben B. Singer, who was originally an employee of Screw Attack, as well as um, Chad, uh, another one of uh, Screw Attack's employees, were able to get the rights and get it all together because RT doesn't exist no more. And so now they can, they're can they funding new death battles. 
I see. You know what? I I, I want and, and that, I like that because you know uh, Ben put it out on his Twitter. You know, like, I went back to see one that I hadn't seen before. You know, I I like the one that was uh, Martian Manhunter versus Silver Surfer. I thought that was a really good. Uh, that that was that was fun and crazy at the same time. I, I had to give it to the surface. Like it, it's going, it had to be the surface. Like as, as powerful as Manhunter is, as surfer, oh, yeah. like he can't, you can't read his mind because he's devoid of any uh, of any emotions. Okay. Oh, oh, big and, and, and Manhunter is like focus. he's literally the Professor X of uh, DC. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying stuff. I was like, I, I don't know who you're gonna talk to. Okay. Talk yeah. To yeah. Uh, who's gonna be Yasmin? Um, uh, I think we want you to do this one. You, you've been voicing Great. a lot of characters. All right, then I'll do this one. Yeah, yeah. Greetings, fellow no. travelers. Okay, okay. No, all right. <laughs> Wait, who's doing this? Me or Google? No, it's just a circle. Okay. I'm Jasmine. Pleased to meet you. I'm a researcher for the archaeology department at the Brightport University. This valley is a gold of is a gold mine for someone in my field. No one else says that anything of value in the, in the sanctuary was plundered long before they made this place their home. But that's not true. I mean, look at the stonework here. It's so intricate. The style seems to date these ruins back to around the start of the arcane era. Ah, the stories these bricks could tell. That's true. We're here. Doesn't from the state of the place is probably not a very happy story. Very astute. In fact, I have reason to believe that some sort of catastrophe struck this place centuries ago. How intriguing. Well, we'll let you get back to your research, Jasmine. Hey, locally. I mean, if you're in need of any, if you're in need of my expertise. Yes. Sorry, right, Tom. Okay. Oh, no, the, the mobster guy over there. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to him. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I'll do this one. <laughs> Please, no request for autographs, folks. Sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I recognize you. Get wound me, kid. Name's Shoe Man. Intrepid room <laughs> reporter for Kingdom Nerd. <laughs> I'm here investigating the strange events of this little island of today. Sudden increase in monster attacks, such a matter of disturbances. What a school! I'm calling it Monster Geddon. You wouldn't happen to have any idea what the hell is going on, would you? Well, no, actually. actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this wizard with a videotape for a head, and he. <laughs> nice try, kid. What is that? One of your little memes or something? I ain't falling for that again. Oh, that's really up to me to crack this case. Crack. Uh, Dash and I you think you were a journalist, not a detective. I like to blur that line. Uh, if you get any leads, you're sure to fill me in. I can get you on TV, you know, baby. No, oh, thanks. Mm. Yeah, DP, you, you do. The, yeah, the product. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. Oh, me. <laughs> we were just supposed to do a puff piece on the tavern here, but now we're stuck in the middle of the woods during some kind of crisis. And to make matters worse, now Mr. Man thinks this monster getting stuff is the story of the century that's gonna win him some award. God damn it. Even if it was, there's no reception. We can't go live at all. I better get overtime for this. Cameraman, I need another diet potion. God damn it. We well, can't the, afford uh, it. Okay, okay, there, there's a lot. Okay. Of course, he's in red, so I'm assuming Let's... later on he would just go into form Manco with his brother. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. We're, we're talking to this one. Who's going to be voicing this one? Hmm. Uh, I think DP should do this one. All right. Hello. Hello. Yep. I am Fauna. Uh, oh. Hi. I was nice to be the fellow spellcaster. Please, I am no mere spellcaster. I am a magician. I am able to peer deep into one's very soul. If one gazes long enough, my amazing mirror is able to reflect one's true self. Remind me to be careful around that mirror. Dasha! 
Wow, this has been had some interesting adventures. Look, it's just like that, Fauna. I mostly do children's birthday parties. That's where the real money's at. However, <laughs> if you have any use for my skills that does not involve entertaining children from age age six to eleven, the work would be appreciated. Actually, that might come in handy. Let's talk to her more when we have a moment. Are you in need of my skills? Hey, Fauna, well, how exactly did you get here? Same as everyone else. A series of ill-advised life choices that I cannot undo, but I'm trying to make the best of it regardless. Oh, I meant how'd you get to the sanctuary? I don't think I've ever seen you in town. I arrived via the astral plane, as I am wont to do. As I am wont to do. Hmm. I need to double check that later. There's a convenient door to the south. Hey, if you've been to Sapphire Hours, Corny Yacht's Bay, have you occurred in a certain sleeping rabbit in here? Ah, yes, the Dream Knight. I have heard the legends. Uh, same as any traveler of the Astral Plane. Why? I can't help but wonder what this guy's deal with him. He never, but he never resolves when he tried to talk to him. If he got magic that can interface directly with the soul, maybe we can speak to him and see if he's okay. Most interesting! I had not considered this, but it seems you have found a challenge worthy of my skills! Very well then! Meet me in the astral plane when you wish to meet the Dream Knight! Okay. Alright. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, other than we just gotta go on there. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. who's, okay, who's gonna be the rat? Um, uh, uh, I'm towards Terakia doing it. Okay. You know what? Nobody's here yet. If you need a room, so it's at 100G. Hey there. Got any interesting leads uh, for a team of adventures? What you think you can just waltz in as total stranger and expect me to dish out all the hot gossips? Is that what you think Tavern Skeeper do? Mostly. Yes. Well, good, because I'm just pulling your thanks. <laughs> I do love some good gossips. You seen that weird magician who hangs around the lake? Fauna, I think it is. What a character. I'm sure she'll have some interesting lady for you. If you want something less crazy, maybe try to get to meet the blacksmith. She's a good egg, that one. She made the sword and shield on the walls here. Ooh. Oh, that hot wolf guy by the vendor's stall is trying to sell some treasure map. I don't trust mysterious merchants who roll into town and start trying to prawn off treasure map, but hey, maybe you do. Okay. We should buy one of those treasure maps sometime. Actually, yeah. uh, actually I'm gonna be gross. What the uh, interesting people about the village? That will be said to the that the they... It's a way to keep talking and possibly drive back when he is. It's a place of this sort of thing. It is a good place of lots of fear. Do it so do it. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, who's this? Uh... Oh, I can do the goblin. I'm live for the party. <laughs> okay. What, what a party? legend that uh, better. Oh, my apologies. No, oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, you can do her... the one with the spatula. Okay. Yay. We can't take her anywhere. She has a one hard lemonade. Oh, she has one hard lemonade, and she gets like this. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. Who wants to do the rat? I'm not this. I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, a dead pool. Hey, are you open to talking unsolicited advice from a stranger? Sure. What's up? When's the last time you swapped out those spell books you've got there? It's easy to get into a rut using the same thing, but you never know if one's option might come in handy if you tr don't try them out. I know it's I know it's a bestseller for a reason, but there's more options for healing than just a magical girl. What would you suggest then? Hey, I'm not out to tell how you live your life, bud. It sounds like you are. Only a little. <laughs> okay, so that the whole thing is like, hey, try using different spellbooks. 
I know it's not sure we're gonna find any hit driver in the public restroom. That's where the treasure map said we'd go. Alright. Need that room? I'll set you back the keys. Alright. And then a la Mott Python, everybody just fell down the stairs. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, there you go. So next to the tree. Oh, that was in the fort, and then one in the cave. Well, that was an easy one. Oh, these, these are pretty much easy. Yeah. Okay, okay let, let's go go up and, and go ahead. Oh, up oh, there it is. Right. So what's this problem you need to help with, Noel? That's her. Cool. Yeah, well, normally I would like low return this complete strangers for help with a test like this. But the circumstances are like dire. You see, in this animal sanctuary, you know, well, do you notice something missing? <laughs> the restrooms. Okay, which one do you want to pick? <laughs> the animals. The buildings. The animals? Yeah, I don't see any animals around here. Aside from peace folk, that is. Precisely. And my little animal friends have all gone missing. The ruckus with the monster made them panic and they ran off. So you want us to look around the valley for your animals? Sure, piece of cake. That's the problem though. They could be anywhere on the Sapphire Islands by now. They're probably hiding in obscure, hard to reach places where they think they'll be safe. Maybe even in chest. Plus they're like scared them in total. And there's a lot of animals for one elemental truck to, elemental to truck down. I know it's a lot to ask, but while you're out, Richard, do you think you could like look for my animal companions? Of course, Noel. We'll help you find your animals. Thank you for like your help. Excuse for your effort. I've prepared some rewards in these chests here. I'll give you one unique piece of gear for every two animals you find. Yes. Dang it. What? Hey, so we can get all eight of them so that we can open all the chests. Yeah. My crystal ball to the left can help you narrow your search. You know, you know, like, I left for your left. Alright. Two quarters left. Fine. Outskirts. Amber Woods. Amber Woods. Mm -hmm. Celestial Wasteland. Mm -hmm. Dark and ominous place in the wasteland. Yes, um, oh, that rabbit we found earlier. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's it's, 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 uh... Are you doing, like, back here? Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Which chest do you want to, like, uh, open? Well, did we get the animals? We we got two, too. Like, uh, we got to open one chest for each uh, each uh, two uh, animal. Take your pick. Okay. Um... I'm thinking the two at the on the the opposite ends are armor. One in the the two in the middle might be weapons. No, no, no all, all of them are armor. Okay, yeah. well then take your pick. I think okay. I go. I, I'm going with pink because why not? Oh, okay. The hat. okay. So yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, this product. is um, this is a thing this from the. Uh, yeah, I yeah, hats. Right. I appreciate huh? it, but I. Kind of rehab hat. <laughs> she never takes it off. I think that might be like the case, but this one's is special. Is it a tiny hat? This one is really <laughs> small, which is it's really small, which is hat. You can wear beneath your normal hat. I'm sold. You got like <laughs> two rusty critters. You have a tiny reward so far. Do you want the tiny witch hat or two of the rusty critters? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Finally, a hat that he can wear. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. But... Probably Mitchell hat, which said that's small. Yeah, okay. okay. Before we begin, time to hunt yeah. down some critters and do some other missions too. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. So another. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is this is another quest. And so we meet again! I have done a curious curiosity inspection of the Dream Knight's soul! My abilities will be sufficient to communicate with him. I will warn you, however, that it will take a great deal of magic to infer with his soul. Interface. Interface. This may attract unwanted guests. Prepare for battle! 
No, not yet. Okay. Oh, very well. Do, 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 do. All right, let's just, uh... You change your mind? Excellent! It is me good! I sense a foreign presence! ESPN, no! For <laughs> <laughs> battle. Here they come. Oh shit! Just being A, B, and C. Wait, our star power is regenerating? Of course, yeah, Astro plays full of magic. Come on, let's go all out. <laughs> oh, full, full stars. Oh, all, all the hypers. <laughs> Must be. Yay, we're gonna have a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. First. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should be used to right as well. Yeah, th there, there's no reason to use. Uh, your, your star power keeps refilling. Yeah, so just go all out. Just go ham. Okay, yeah. And go ham and ham. Ham and ham. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Sircon, if you get a chance to go to a nice Ibidia place, like a, a lot of uh, uh, Mexican restaurants do a Ibidia tacos, but like if you want that, like if you go to one that specializes in it, I totally recommend it. Ibidia is very nice. Well, right now, um, I have to, right now, that hopefully they have, I don't know if they would have any in DC, but hopefully they I'm sure they would, yeah. Yeah, and, and make sure it comes with that nice uh, au jus uh, or consomme, because that stuff's the best. Yeah, deja vu. What is this? Wait, have you seen creatures like that somewhere before, Melody? What? Oh, <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Thank you for the assistance. Your doorway into the night soul is ready. That's fine. Come, <laughs> so, oh, cool. Uh -huh. So, how are we doing? How do we... <laughs> oh, okay. The Dream Knight. Oh, who's gonna do this one? I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. Yeah. This is what I'm called, yes. It's been a very long time since I was able to speak with another person. It's nice to meet you. Well, it's so incredible to be able to speak with you. I have so many questions. What are you doing here in the astral plane? Are you okay? Very not, young one. I rest here by choice. The astral plane is a strange place made of pure magic. It naturally tends to warp and bend like the currents in these seas. In the old days, many travelers would lose their way here and never be seen again. So centuries ago, I volunteered to become an anchor of sorts. The weight of my soul holds down the pathway spellcasters have molded from the mana in this region of the astral plane, allowing for safe travel. Wow, that's so selfless of you, leaving your life behind like that for this duty? Please, it is a knight's job to protect the weak, is it not? However, today it was you who protected me from those astral beings that wished to harm me. I owe you a great debt for saving me. Oh, don't say it's like, man. It's like, it's all in these work for us. No doubt. Nonetheless, I wish to give you this. Astral oh. Nice. This trinket will allow you to walk back to the astral plane from almost any location. Oh, nice. It should aid you in your journeys considerably. Hey, crap, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. We'll be sure to make good use of it, Dream Knight. With this, I will return to my peaceful dreams. Thank you for your chat. Safe travels, young ones. Wow. You, you've chosen wisely. Yeah. Were you able to speak with the knight as you desired? It was amazing, Fauna. He told us everything. We must be the first people to learn about the Dream Knight's story in centuries. I am glad I was able to use my abilities for something more substantial than entertaining sweaty toddlers. I believe my work here is done. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Do you want us to, like, pay you for your time or anything? Please, a true magician is not concerned with profit, only the showmanship. But a tip would be appreciated. Tip oh, my God. Or tip One thousand. One thousand. Thank you very much. 
It has been a pleasure doing business with you. What? Alright. Yeah. Because, frankly, 10 gold, that, that's literally even lower than what he has been paid for entertaining children. You've chosen poorly. We work back. It's even lower than what the tavern charges for a night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, there, there's something. Yes. When it loads up, or unless it. Uh... Uh, uh, oh, what sorry. screen? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Is it what screen? Okay. Oh god. I, oh god. I thought it was uh, erroring. Uh, yeah, I thought so, so too. So, so, sorry, I, I, I tapped out. Oh darn okay. you. Okay, so let me go ahead and like that pick something. Um, Sircon, how are you doing on time, by the way? Um, uh, it's been one hour so far. I can stay here for at least two, two okay. hours, two and a half hours, maybe. Top, yeah, the, don't don't worry, it, it's not all, all that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just let us know, just in case. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll so it's, it's a little more than half we cover. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I was trying to look for that location, but I don't think we're at the secret um, area yet because it was it was next to a, uh, some docks for the treasure map. Yeah, which is why I'm, I'm trying to like. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's why I figured looking around for the uh, treasure spot. The other one I know that was in the cave. I'm gonna go get my clothes from the dryer. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, we're well, good. I'm gonna, gonna go, go ahead and look something really quick. Yeah, I'll be right back though. Now, where are we going? Hey, don't don't hey, worry I... about it. Well, now I have to worry more the way that you say it. I said, don't worry about it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry about it at all. That's uh, DP was joking with you. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, uh, how do. Uh... Yeah, Vass, did you want to uh, mention the thing that I sent, uh, that uh, yeah, package I sent you a couple days ago? Yeah, you did, did uh, a job. Is that what we do? Yeah. So, so what was it that I, I did per se? Yeah, you you did draw me draw me like a picture. Of, you tried drawing a picture of your son, right? Yeah, but what did I send you? I meant <laughs> you just you sent me the back at club. Yeah, because I couldn't, uh, Vass told me that his, uh, Goncha T location DP, all out of Fat Cat Cups. All they had was the Fat Chocobo ones, whereas my location in Tampa, all they had was Fat Cat Cups. But the keychains were still, uh, completely scalped the first day, so they're still selling between 75 and $110 for those, uh, uh -huh. supporting, uh, Goncha T keychains, which sucks, because they look so good. They even got, they, they even got used gold rings on them. <sighs> That's a lot of money for that. I put, I put it in Final Fantasy XIV if you're interested, DP, but it sucks so bad. Like, because the, the scalpers all swarmed the store on Wednesday. Oh, because yeah. The promotion started on a Wednesday, and so you were like, shit out of luck. Most people weren't able to get to Goncha until Saturday. And that's when everyone blitzed it. And. Yeah. And oh, yeah, no, it except both of us, but the fact that Vass couldn't get a, a, a fat cat cup is like, that's not fair. So. Got him. Oh, oh, okay. Got him. Okay. Got so. Him. Wait. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm kind of on kind of belly. Oh yeah. Okay. That that that's probably like I'm gonna have to like get that for later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's a gansha, right? Gansha tea. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna try to see if there's one at Montreal. Uh, let me check for you right now. I can do that. I'm actually doing it as well, so it's Gongsha, not Gensha. All right. Oh yeah, no, Gongsha, Gongsha Montreal. Uh, yes, yes, there, there are three, three locations in uh, Montreal. Ooh, okay, okay. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go ahead and visit back to Mumford. Mumford, yep, Mumford and Sons. So, I'm gonna try and get, uh, to get I one of the few promotion. And if I get either a double or one of them, I'm just gonna literally mail it to Vass. Yeah, it, you have to get three, yeah, uh, three T's. Okay. Hey, you know, oh, it oh. seems like you had a lot of your mind. Is everything okay, Allison? It's uh, uh, it's fine. 
We'll talk a little later, Mom. Don't worry about it. No, oh, right. Okay, so... Can I have money? And four. Okay, yeah, you'll have plenty of time. But, uh, uh, Sturkey, when, when are you going to the convention? Oh, it's gonna be in a few days. Okay, yeah, because it run the the promotion runs till August twenty eighth. Oh, just, that's just pretty much sure gonna be more than sure enough. You, can, you gotta get three T's, and you'll either get the code or you can get um one of the keychains. If they got a fat cat keychain, which I hope they do, but again, you don't know what the scalpers did. Um, you can definitely send one to Bass. Well, here the the thing that the oh, there's one at Brossard. There's the thing here is that in Canada, we kind of work differently with that kind of stuff. Oh, there's a treasure chest at least, Vess. Yeah, a ruby eye. Huh, interesting. <laughs> this is probably important. That's what she uh -huh. always says, like, oh, no, interesting. This is probably important. You said the same thing about the ancient key. Would you like to wash the ruby eye? Oh, oh, yes, oh, oh, you have gotten oh, okay. a sapphire eye. <laughs> Do you want to wash a sapphire eye? Sure. Congratulations, you now have red eye. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, oh, wow. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, do you remember that, that one joke bottle that we, uh, like, from Super Lesbian or, uh, uh Super Lesbian Horse RPG? Oh, yeah. This is what I'm supposed yeah. to get. Weird. Maybe that movie I think will fit here. As much as I love Mysterious Roots, we probably have much more present matters to attend to right now. This can wait. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh. oh, wait, that could be a secret dungeon! Uh, uh, no. uh, it's pr probably like a... Oh, Post yeah, it, it's probably a, probably a, like a... Oh, yeah, I, I believe... I believe like a... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, right, um... I guess, guess we'll... we'll, we'll d no, no, I haven't talked to anyone yet. I'll probably see our logic. Fucking hell! Oh, probably never escape it, Vass. Probably nothing. Oh it's yeah, nothing you can see this right now, Vass. When uh, we get to uh, your playthrough of Pegasus Prime, you're gonna have a lot of that too, where it's not gonna be as straightforward as Journeyman Project Turbo was. Figures. Yeah, so it's gonna be like you having to walk back and forth between uh, the three uh, temporal rifts. Just to get the things needed. I like the, the, the whole answer about what's a really good reward. Yes. It's. It, I'm so glad, glad I, I did this quest. Yep. But, uh, but no, I, I'm actually very glad, though, Vass, that I was able to get you that thing for a nice price. And as far as mailing that thing, it didn't cost that much. I, I found a good box and I had uh, plenty of um, safety. Uh, paper to put it in. You know, I apologize that I, I was trying to get it in there so that it wouldn't uh, rumble around, that it may have gotten it pushed a little bit. But um, I was able to mail it for uh, four ninety nine. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, the, the the fat cat cup. Yeah, cleaned it out and everything. It's, it's like it's not fair that he uh, that Vass couldn't get one. <laughs> Aww. Oh, very. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I still got my other two fat cat cups that I uh, uh, got from the promotion. And then yeah. I got another three because uh, Keldrick uh, wanted to get a code, and then I got th three more so that Keldrick could have the code. Hmm. So on my case, I have four location. Well, it's actually three location that can reach. Mm -hmm. Good luck, because I'm sure they're still going to be bombarded by people wanting to get those cups. Because there's yes. three of them. You get a fat cup, fat chocobo, and the cactar. Which, uh, I know. The flavors are. Brown sugar milk tea for fat cat, cactars matcha, and then fat chocobo is mango. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that if that, that, that sounds part, good. Didn't I voice this character or? Yes, yeah, you, you did. did. See, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I'm trying to remember the voice I gave her. Uh, it's just a, a goblin uh, geek. You know, if you hadn't had your fill of near death experiences after that control chamber, Neff and I have a lead you might be able to help with. Oh, really? Well, actually, we still got a little investigating to do ourselves before we can make a move. But maybe come back later if you have the time. This seems right up your alley. I think we're good for now, oh. thanks. But we'll see how our schedule looks. Need something else? A new lead? You know, you haven't had, a, had a, your fill- oh, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. 
Okay. I know. Well, so we can't do this quest either. No. Uh, yeah, I think this this but 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 might be later. I still like this town because again, it just it, oh, it yeah. always it always gives me a homage dasher to West of Lowing. Mm, that in Earthbound. A little bit, yeah. I was gonna say it right there, yeah. Yay. What? Jody got stuck. Okay. So, sorry, I I I, I know. Like so, sometimes, sometimes it, like the like the screen pauses. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not my fault. Sure. I I I get you, but at the same time, it is not lesson to worry. Well, because it's Discord. A lot of, yeah. a lot of shenanigans. No, 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 it's not Discord court's uh, fault for this. I kind of, uh, a bit. Maybe I shouldn't worry you too much with this. What? I said I shouldn't worry you, you too much with these. Okay. Well, see, I never know about uh, games can have errors and crashes all the time. You, you, I, I'm sorry for making you uh, worry. No, no, I just no worries. Again, we, we just it's... we have to wonder if something happened, like when there's like a freeze for like five seconds or ten seconds. Oh, because remember, of of all things, like even on an emulated 3DO vast. Remember when I I I did the transgressions report about the night of reatonement for Gideon Rachel? I did it in Mushwa's office. Then the whole thing went was started going static lines, and you thought, what the fuck's going on? That that was a crash. That was that was that was critters or. Space creature. That, that was what? Cre that was creature song. No, no, no. Yeah. Remember Hell Cyberpunk Thriller? When I read the Night of Reatonement, and then afterwards, like, and Giddy's like, "Wait a minute! This says that you're, uh, um, you're not Rachel after all. You're uh, uh, Claudette Simeon, and I'm uh, Marcus Vanders." And then the screen went all colored and wobbly. Like we have it recorded on video. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I can't read the Night of Reatonement report in Mushwa's office. I had to go to Dante's apartment to read it. Okay. Now, now, now then, let's go. It's also the gate Faith told us about. I, I don't see a keyhole though. Is this gate welded shit? It's magically sealed. They're just trying just holding out the key. Sinia's key. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll order Zinnia's place. Okay, who's gonna voice Zinnia? Right, actually, I, actually, I, actually, actually, you know what? Rule. Okay. You, you be Zinnia. Huh. Oh, huh? I guess it's uh, gonna be a bit of a hike to get to Zinnia's place. Oh, so this is where one of the treasure maps probably is. Yeah. Uh. Sure, she sure does live out of the way. Well, Faith has told me she intends to keep to herself. Why's old sorcery masters are just like that, I suppose. Face mentor. Oh, oh my god. Polychrome. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I hope she'd have monsters lined up for us. What the heck? Oh, time to see what sort of monsters we'll have to face. Mm -hmm. Later, I guess. <laughs> Mega potion. Lil Wiz! Lil Wiz. <laughs> Lil Wiz money gang. Oh, oh my god, that that is like a really old, old meme. Like, I, I mean, the whole money game thing. <laughs> it, it, last year. Yeah. Or, like, late last year, earlier, Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Yeah. No, no, well, the, no. Well, the, still being referenced. And I, well, no, I will say this, he's pretty good for an uh, enemy because he gets two attacks. Was it Moonshine? Uh, uh, yep, yeah, and you got uh, some other item. That's... As the old as the old adage goes, wizard booze is bad news. Better just sell it. <laughs> bad news. Uh, magic rope. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, there is a lot, a lot of magic ropes. Yeah, now that this is more like Earthbound here with the magic ropes, uh, I, uh, a la Dungeon Man. That was my favorite no. part of the game, just doing Dungeon Man. Ooh! This bird is flammable. Yeah, so he can cast two spells a turn. 
Wizard Moonshine, more of that. Oh. Old news is bad news. That's a new one for me. <laughs> Oh, there's a stone crab. Stone crab. Alright, all right, uh, taunting. And, uh... uh is everything alright? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, well, uh, Vass, I've, I've worked for the last uh, four days now, and I've got another day I gotta work with my patient Sunday, and then I, I gotta work with him again Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of uh, next week. Oh, oh. Of course, stone resist lightning. Who oh, here, Demi? Mm. It must be rock types. They are, yeah, stone crab. I mean, those are supposed to be really good, stone crab claws. Mm. You can get them at the store, like, uh, if, if anyone's ever had stone crab. It's delicious. First I've heard of it. Yeah, uh, check your, uh, DP, when, if you ever go to a seafood department, uh, look for stone crab claws. They're very big. Like meaty claws, like something like, like more so than like a regular crab claw, but not something like Dungeness or Snow. Gotcha. Because that's like the only like when you see, whenever you see stone crab being sold, that's usually it's just the claws because that's where all the meat is. Like th their their bodies don't have much, but the claws contain the most. Oh, oh no, no, he's yeah. petrified. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not not a good sign. Well, I, I should ask you, Vess, if you ever had stone crab uh, claws. Not that I know of. Hmm. I have to try that out when I see you. Alright! Crab. Oh! Stone. Oh, so that just means they're petrified completely, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Where's your, where's your uh, gold needles? That's uh, that the antidote is a gold needle. No, yeah, no, that, that, that uh, Final Fantasy. What can you do about petrification? Needle. I see what that we're operating at petrification is not like an instant kill upon being hit with another move. Yeah. That is, you know, I do have to admit that that's kind of annoying for like so many RPGs because it's like they can never make up their mind for when it comes to petrification. Like, is it just like another form of like paralysis or is it kind of like, you know, brittle yeah, though? Yeah. On any, yeah, it's like they, they, there is just so many inconsistencies. Oh, yeah. They like to treat it. Yeah, and let's not me uh, uh, mention in the tabletop setting when dealing with petrification in any of the editions of D&D. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of how much petrification you can get. Your oh! Entire arm is petrified, but you can move your hand freely. <laughs> yeah, because we were running into a Sergio uh, on a couple of fandoms. We were running a few enemies that could potentially petrify. We just got lucky; didn't happen to us. Okay, okay, okay. That's one one of the special doors. Yeah, the, the dungeon keys. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, must, must be this is it. There it is. This is spot marked on the map. Metal, Metal ore. Hey, you found the thing that uh, uh, Claire needed, or Jody needed. Allison. Or Dasher, sorry. Dasher. You okay, Dash? I don't know if Dasher fell asleep. That's wow, a rock. Hey, this would be perfect for my shield. We should bring this to Mint. Well, yes, we can, because uh, we've got the Astral Bell that the Dream Knight gave us. Okay, that definitely, that that's that, that was Earthbound type of uh, 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 teleportation. No, no, what it kind of reminds me more of is, like, when you use rope in Pokemon. Yeah. But, yeah, I will definitely agree, like, it's a mix of that and Earthbound's teleportation. I don't play Pokemon games often, <laughs> so I don't have an opinion. All right, man. Fair enough. Talk. What? Let me know when you find some rare art for that shield. How about this? Gave Mint the... Bingo! This is the good stuff. Where do you Bingo. find something like this? A cave. 
That makes sense. Well, no time like the present, right, Jody? Let's get to work. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Hold on. Ta da! Oh no, you need the old wooden ding sound. A masterpiece. Jody Shield. Thanks for your help with this, Mint. I couldn't be happier with the result. I was. This was the fun one. I'll have to bring over to do more collabs with you in the future when you're in the network. All right. Let's see what uh, stats you get off of Jody Shield. Okay. Yeah, this is important because, like, wow. One yeah, of kind of lovely four short Jody. Best size defense over offense. Huh? Uh, I don't know if- oh yeah, you still don't have enough for the Mithril Armor. Oh yeah, we need to sell the, uh, booze. Yeah. Wow, oh, that goes for a lot. There you go. Well, it's moving I mean, it is, it, I mean, it is well aged. Yeah. Oh, Mummy Dagger. <laughs> yeah, Mummy Dagger. Yummy Mummy. Mummy. No, no, y yummy, mummy. That was that was actually the 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 rare uh, brand of uh, the monster theme cereal. You know, like oh yeah, Chocula, Frankenberry, and Blueberry, and there was yummy, mummy, which I first learned from Chris Bors, the irate gamer, that he really loved yummy, mummy. I I, I will admit that uh, sporadically, I I did see like yummy, mummy, but it was kind of like <laughs> but it was part of those like uh, multi packs. Yeah, it, no, it's hard. Like, you can always get Count Chocula or Boo and Franken, but Yummy Bummy is like, <laughs> good luck. Hmm. Have you ever had Yummy Mummy, Bass? Oh, that's your. What? Dash, you, you right, bud? Unless, unless Dasher's asleep. No, that can't be right. Well, I don't know. Like, remember, Bass? Like, we, me and Mal had to help wake you up after burying time because we started hearing you snoring. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. It, it happens. We, you, you didn't you didn't know how long burying time was gonna be, but like like I was having a lot of fun. Like I I'm I'm glad no, DP you to no, meet the, no, the, the no, alien no. shrimps uh people that were the crin. No, it, it's just it, it, it just oh my god, Thatcher is asleep. Oh. It, it's happened before, sadly. Yeah. I don't want but Vass, uh, about how your day was. Oh, minor helmet. How was it going to that fun Wait, spot? None of us can wear this helmet. What? Why now? Because it's for minors, and we're all adults. Uh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who can wear the minor helmet? Okay. That's actually well. Other than you lose some uh, attack and such. Perfect for those planning to get a hit on the head by a rock. Yeah. Normally, no. This, <laughs> no, normally no. this normally this would come with the perk of like you cannot be stunned. But Joey. But uh, no, how was the fun spot in New Hampshire? Were, were you able to find Narc or uh, Smash TV, or they didn't have that? They have Smash TV. Oh yeah, oh. I see it because like half the photos I was trying to like I know you you caught them so fast they got kind of blurry. Yeah, I, I was trying to, but I didn't realize like how fast. I I thought thought. Yeah, it's that's... okay. I sat to lay yeah. action on a, on a camera phone, but I definitely would have loved to have seen that us versus them laser disc arcade game. Oh, yeah. That's why I got you uh, uh, an LP, a uh, let's play of it, uh, DP, so you can see us versus them. Oh, I'm, I'm a sucker for old laser disc. Yeah. Oh, gosh. But who are you fighting? Um, unless, well, if it was 84, then it was probably uh, America versus the Ruskies. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I could, I could, uh, go hop over about what us versus them was. Although I will admit that that's just my cheap, like, the obvious humor. Oh yeah, DP, what'd you think of that uh, vintage light-up, uh, Spuds McKenzie poster I found in that steakhouse? I, 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 I had a nice smile. Yeah. Because you don't come across, because you don't come across many light-up posters, much, much less the more vintage yeah, it's one of those that, like, it, it, it was, like, in the full light box, so you actually did have to plug it into a wall with it. Nice. Uh, where did you post those again, Miss? 
uh, your uh, arcade pictures today? Oh yeah, it's three but it's all. Okay. Never mind, uh, uh, um, DP, uh, us for them, that is just basically U.S. versus aliens. But, uh, honestly, the I, other I think classic. More, yeah, well, it was very uh, simple, Laser Disc, because it's more like they just were trying to do their version of Afterburner, and then they would just oh, have yeah. a, 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 a roving, like, video uh, play of, like, uh, overshot of, like, Tokyo or off a field or something, so that was, like, where the live footage was. Mm hmm. But all the other stuff was, you know, obviously done by on a studio, so. Confused? <laughs> no, 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 they, it was rumors. Oh, Avalanche! Uh, okay, what was that again? Sorry, Vess? Uh. For well. us versus them, you mean? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, sir. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. They're... No, this. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 are you? Oh, was it nausea? Was that a nauseous burp? Uh oh. Uh, I, don't, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, and, oh, what and did you? Uh, for the flight too. Uh, what did you eat there? Um, yeah, yesterday uh, or uh, today, Vast. Like, did you have one of those uh, dragon pizzas? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a decent slice. All right. The chest was actually a mimic. Ah, huh, son of a. Uh, yeah, we can't talk our way out of this one. Ah, so we cannot <laughs> seduce it. Oh, we can steal yeah. from it. Yeah. No, no, we just steal from the mimic. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We just steal. Oh. No. no. Oh, thankfully for the shield. <laughs> well, Jody's defense went up by a lot because of her custom shield now. Yeah. I still think to steal. <laughs> what a Mother. cheap mimic. <laughs> I thought I thought in D like well I I know in D and D like mimics they have a, a variety of things. Swords, shields, gauntlets, the occasional ar ar undergarment that has an enchantment. Uh, well, we don't have that, but, uh, I, uh, but my character Ranford does have the enchanted dice of uh, um, dramatic entrances. <laughs> now you roll one through twelve, and the higher the roll, the better the dramatic entrances. Yeah. So I, I've had I've had ramp my character either doing a moonwalk in, or uh, even doing um, the uh, cruise and risky business come in. You know, triple somersaults, wheels, tumbles. Oh no, it was, it's, it's one of our better uh, uh, um, uh, magical items that uh, the DM uh, gave us. Can we do he has a self-insert uh, merchant that uh, sells all these uh, goofy enchanted items. Like, oh, we had these the gloves that would turn anything into butter. So there, were, there was ways we could use the, uh, the butter turning gloves to like, like maybe turn a knob or turn a lock into uh, a lock door into butter. Or an armor. Yep, or or uh, our our friend Clover, who's a, a a wood puppet, and then turning him into a freaking butter puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Clover is now a plasmoid. Hey, there's a the crystal go. creature. Oh, I, I wonder. If it would that's my, uh, oh my god, my, uh... that, that's just like it's so on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Allison, try stealing from the crystal creature. Okay. Let's hope they don't get meth. No, no, uh, that's probably. Like that. Yeah, although he's far enough away. All right. You probably don't hear him snoring, but it's very clear that he has fallen asleep. Oh, uh, but yeah. Resist fire. It was like getting into it, so. What do you mean? We getting into what? 
I mean, I mean, we've been having fun. Like, yeah, we we understood that Dasher fell fell asleep last night. That's why we that's why we did FF14, and then that's why I, I suggested because Sircon, you're still here. That we do it tonight. Well, <laughs> so when Sircon comes back. Well, wait, wait, wait. I, I I I heard I heard, I heard was that Dasher? Are you with us? I don't think he is, but what we could do is essentially it's an episode of we just clean stuff up before facing the final challenge. Oh no, we're not even near the final boss yet. <laughs> no, no, we're, oh, we're, 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 we're not even close, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember, Sergio, this is nothing like Pony RPG. This is a lot longer. Yes. Although yes. I can't this, help this the is, This is rebuilt <laughs> from the ground up. <laughs> <laughs> like Journeyman Project Pegasus Prime. Although we are recycling a fair number of uh, of, uh, of certain market lines. Well, yeah, look at this. Well, and also the sprite uh, artwork. Oh. Lunar wand. All right. Although, I, although when I heard you suggest, like, you know, we, you know, clean stuff up, my first me thought is, Wait, okay, so we swap bullshit. over to power washer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I still have power wash uh, simulator if I ever want to. Again, because I, I they, they did bring been. up the Warhammer 40k um, DLC. I, I do feel really tempted to uh, get a power washer at some point. Oh, it's fun! Like it, it's just great. Like you have a couple friends, you can just talk about anything while you're uh, doing it. Yeah, but to be fair, That's it's fun. like more. It's more superficial because it's like I discovered that it has like one one additional thing, and it's like, ooh, I must get it for just for this little thing. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh RPG. RPG. Elite. Oh, that reminds me of that new Ember heirloom skin on Warframe. Ah. Uh, oh, I should, 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 I should, should check, check that out. Oh, uh, which one? Warframe. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, then they get new stuff on Warframe. There's a lot of shit in Warframe. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> the original Destiny. Destiny is Destiny, Lightning. Yeah, yeah. Ugo, you have in front of you a veteran of Warframe. Yeah, aren't I... you also a veteran of a couple other ones that have too much DLC? <laughs> yes. Yeah, remember because they were like uh, ex uh, explaining about, oh, they had different, so it was when we watched the Game Awards, it, it was the one that, that, that did Forza, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, we got more stuff coming out for this game. <laughs> But yeah, I actually stopped playing Warframe, I think after the three, either, not the moon, when there were the Necro mechs and whatever. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, it's going to be a firefight and whatnot. You know, I, 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 still, I still wish it was like, uh, Makari. Oh, oh shit. Like, uh, so, oh, you know, so, sometimes hey, I, I, sometimes I wish Makari, Mar, Mar, um, Makari was, was still, um, like uh, stream, stream Warframe from time to time. <laughs> yes, deal. Damn. Be, 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 that that that's, that's a good. That's a, like the. That, that that's how I, I am in, in love with Warframe be, because of Makari. Well, for me, it may not be Warframe, but like like uh, how me and Mal are were were suckers for uh, BattleTech or anything dealing with Mech Warrior. Oh yeah. I love MacWarrior, MacWarrior, well, 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 uh, well, Mercenaries, and uh, I'm, I'm only said, said like if there was still a club that Makari Morth still has in Warframe, I may so come back to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and you know where uh, a game that you like, a series that you like, Vass, um, Tribes, you know where that uh, originated from, right? Oh, yes. It, it originated from Battletech because it originally started out as Star Siege and uh, then Earth Siege. So uh, uh, canonically, uh, Tribes is uh, has a loose part of the BattleTech Mech Warrior series. Oh yeah, Clanner scum! You dare always, refuse I my patrol? I always enjoyed that uh, Mech Warrior animated series or BattleTech because it just it, it, it had no right to be as 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 decent as it was in the nineties, especially covering uh, the lore. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, uh, right up there with a frog in a car. Yeah, we gotta steal. <laughs> we gotta see what he's got. Mm. Steal it. Take his license. Oh. 
You took a it's model for a whore. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's my car. Uh, I'm so small. Oh, now, now, I, now I kind of want a sandbox Whoa. game that. Uh, Ninety. Okay, you still had my items. Oh, you're yeah, you're just taking everything out of this guy's car. <laughs> Please don't steal from me. I live in my car. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a nothing to steal. <laughs> oh no. no, not again. Tap it with lightning. I told you in the car. Oh, <laughs> Scrap metal. Uh, my poor friend. <laughs> okay, this must yeah, be she it. just she just went full Street Fighter two on that car. My car. No, no, the ch ch oh, real Rambo on that. This must be the place. Do you know anything about Zinnia, Jody? Not much. He's brought up having a mentor named Zinnia a few times, but we've never met. And I don't think she uses social media. <laughs> He's a good judge of character, though. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. How very hermit-like. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Yellow. Yeah. Hi, is Cindy home? You're speaking to her. I love oh, her already. Manners. You must be face friends. Hold on, just a sec. I, li I liked you better when you were a giant. <laughs> there we go. Sorry for starting you like that. I was just stretching. I get all stiff if I don't morph back to a full size every now and then. Mm. I also forget sometimes that most folks don't run into dragons every day. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, come in, come in. It's chilly out here. I'll make us some tea to warm up. Oh, she's an elder dragon. Well, I guess uh, yeah. you, you know why I should have voiced uh, 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 Zinnia after all. Thanks, Vasp. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. All right, well, we got another place open up. We probably shouldn't track dirt all over this handmade dragon size quilt. Oh, we got an alarm clock. Whoa, who decided this pillow? It's a big as a bed. I want you all to know that I'm extremely tempted to try on sleeping on that thing, and I'm not going to behave myself instead. I'm going to have to. <laughs> Well, Flavor Flav would love this clock. Well, this is, without a doubt, the biggest alarm clock I've ever seen. Yeah, boy! And then there's just a little ding, 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 ding. <laughs> wow. What does oh, the oh, lag oh, say? Oh, 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 my name's Jody, and this is... Oh, there's no need for introductions. Face told me all about you for over the years. Especially you, Jody. I hope you realize how crazy she is about you. Yo. To anyone? I know that you're here on a mission. We don't need to rush. I don't get to meet new people often these days. So you're my face mentor. That I am. I've tutored many a guardian over the years and faced the latest. I don't come across bright young spellcasts like her often, though. She's really something special. Wait, we don't get a new guardian all that often? How old are you at, actually? Allison, it's rude to. Oh, about a thousand, give or take. Dragons live a long time. Wow, you don't look at day over 800. <laughs> I like this one. You must be Anison. And that hey. would make you Melody. Mm, oh yeah, that's me. I hear you started training as a healer recently. And on a team with your girlfriend, no less. How's that going? Uh, uh it's going. Mm. See? And you must be Claire? Yeah, I bet Faith told you about all about me. She has. Tells you that you're very passionate about your magic studies and that you're always trying to challenge yourself. 
You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago, actually. She was a great witch herself. Anyway, we can get down to business in a moment. But now, make yourselves at home. Okay. And then Allison just jumped on the freaking pillow and just sleep there. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, DP. Wow. Sick DVD library, Zena. You a big movie buff? Oh, I don't know if an, I'm an expert, but I got all of the uh, the uh, blue collar comedy tour on DVD box set. But I do have a nice little collection. I love that Larry the Cable Guy. As you can imagine, living for centuries and centuries gives you a lot of time to kill. Books are great and all, but I was so excited when home video became a thing. I just started grabbing all sorts of stuff and I'd have things to watch. I'm also kind of a sucker for cheesy romance, so I snatched up many box sets of all those long sitcoms and soap operas. Really love that moonlighting show with Bruce Willis. Admittedly, streaming, streaming has kind of made these useless. No way, it's a nice collection. It's still a nice collection. Mm. Yeah. This is a real solid co collection of magic books, but I feel like I'm desensitized after seeing the <laughs> library and the Guardian's vault. Faith lets you into the vault. I'm not sure that we we may eat that the, that even make it into the top ten weirdest things that have happened to us this week. Okay. Oh, oh love of the vinyl. Hey, hey, I, 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 I might do might do a question about dyslexia sometimes. Oh yeah, I I don't make any uh hiding that I I suck at speaking at times. Wow, this couch looks really comfortable. Should we take a short rest here? No. Sweet breaker player. I wish our good headquarters was half as cool as this place. Well, you four are always welcome to visit. You might want to be careful about making offers like that to declare. Just ask our local librarian. Don't you dare. Hey, oh, hey. wow, what a face paints. Cool to see one of these out in the wild. That was a solstice skip. They thought it'd be nice to do a little exchange. In return, I made her a sweater. That's where she got that holiday sweater from. I don't think it was her style. Not that I think it's tacky or anything. Oh, you don't have to sugarcoat it. Those things are supposed to be tacky. That's half the fun. Oh, she's a she's an and old Italian granny. Don't even attempt to try to just trash my Golden Girls box set either. Zinnia, who's the giraffe? You have all these photos of. I think I'd see them for in Greenwich before. Funny that they just look like you though. That's because it is me. What? What? Wait. How many forms do you have? Enough to suit my needs. Shapeshifting is a natural ability all dragons are born with. Correct. Yeah. We tend to stand out at our full size, and that's not always desirable. In Shadowrun, that came, that was a very desirable thing that most dragons <laughs> had. But most of the time, I use this form, but in public, I'll often go giraffe mode so that I can blend in with the beast folk. Why not just go like this? I have my reasons. Again, I'd rather not stand out. And you don't see dragons every day here in the Beast Kingdom. Hold on, I I totally waited on, on you in, in draft four at Paley's once. That you did. I do try to drop by Ginridge from time to time so that I don't become a total hermit. I probably should have something was up when I YouTube with that 900 year old gold. <laughs> <laughs> You might think it's 900 year old, but it's worth 900 million dollars. This is a real yeah, but the, but the okay. economy had to go loudly uh, relapse. Yep, Guardian mm -hmm. Soup. Okay. Oh, yeah, all this? Of diplomas. <laughs> wow, you have all those magic degrees. Uh, I, are most of them honorary or something? Oh, no, they're all real. But that's not too hard to do when you've been alive for a thousand years. You ever hear about this place called ITT Tech? I could tell you about it. I like to keep my magic knowledge up to date, so every couple decades or so, I'll enroll at a different magic school to see what's new in academia. Naturally, though, I'll go in disguise to get the genuine experience. I don't want any special treatment. What if you make friends with your classmates, though? Does living a double life ever get in the way? Oh, if I end up making any new friends, I'll just let them know the truth after graduation. The look on their faces always process when they find out I've really been a giant dragon the whole time. Also, she looks like you. Yeah. Well, I don't think you have any business in my bedroom. Oh, my bad. Wait, 
This place had a bedroom? I thought you slept down in the front door. Oh no, that's just where I go when I want to laze about in my natural form. It's the only part of the cave where a full-size dragon will fit. Makes sense. Most days, I just stay like this so I have a regular bedroom too. So, keep out. You can see that room later. I still need to make some preparations. I don't think we have any business out there just yet. Okay, well, okay, let's not just... Can we wait, see what's wait. in the refrigerator? Oh, no, yeah, let's yeah, see the fridge. My name is Zircon, and I have come for your refrigerator. <laughs> wait, wait, Zircon! <laughs> so, welcome back. I was starting to worry about you for a while. Oh, dude, I've been here, like, for the past ten oh, minutes. You, are you okay? Like, was that wasn't a nauseous burp, was it? Yes, it was, but, like, for whatever Ooh. reason, uh, nothing came out. And I was just like, oh, this, well, this that, that, that's, did, that's did you, first did you, good, but also don't, don't, don't tell me. Did you ask, like, yeah, wait, wait, Dasher? No, it's me. No, no, Dasher still I'm sleeping. sincerely sorry, but I'm also starting to get tired, and tomorrow we'll have stuff to do, so I might try to stay up <laughs> uh, for uh, uh, a little okay. bit longer. All right. Well, I'll like, keep on going. It may be a bit, bit like short this time, but all right. Yeah, that's fine. Also, uh, also, I, I, I believe, also, also, I believe like uh, it might be like a little bit of indigestion you had there, Sircon. Just like how Most I had yes. Ready to get down to business, or do you want to keep looking around? Let's get serious. Let's get dangerous? Okay. Now then, let's get down to it. They told me there's a situation you need help with, but she didn't give me any more specifics. She just said, my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, uh, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine Faith doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about me, though. I'm still spry by dragon standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Lucky. Yeah, where do you even begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. Ah! We're here to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. Uh, uh sorry, I must uh misheard you. One more time. We've been challenged to fight the, by the goddess of magic. You probably know her as Fortuna, but her name is really Verena. Um, escape, hey. Oh, no. Sorry, it's a lot to ask someone. No, 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 no. I, I don't think you understand. I, I, I knew Verena. What? Are you sure it was her? Describe her. Uh, well, she had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her. Really? That's all you have to go off of. I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. I guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's part of my past. I've tried to, my best to bury. I just don't understand. Right is back? After all this time, how? And she's threatening Green Ridge. But I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have any idea why she might feel that way? Mm, I do. I do. Oh, Hello. welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> hey, Dad. Right here. What, what, what happened? Right here. <laughs> yeah. We didn't hear you for a long time. The DP's been covering for you. No. What, do, have you been muted this entire time? No, I'm no. not muted. Did then, you fall asleep? No. What then, happened? I think what, you know, the, right here. Your mic? Oh my oh god, my god, god, god. Oh, you, you, you didn't realize where you found your mic? I feel sorry for you. I don't know what it was. What? Mer. Sorry? I don't know what it was. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so we oh, were just like, um, we thought you fell asleep. We were like, Dasher, Dasher. <laughs> no, I didn't fall asleep. You get, okay, we gotta, we gotta, okay. You have to re remind yourselves to make sure where where the, the mic is positioned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, or what, what your mic looks like. It's set. Okay. Okay. Look. Wait, 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 wait! Did you not have your headset on the entire time? Yeah, I have my headset on. But but the, but yeah, your mic. All, is... But all we kept hearing was incon incomparable garbles. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh oh. oh it didn't. You, you didn't have an update on your laptop, did it? No. Hmm. Mm. 
<laughs> Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things to explain. Yeah. A little over a thousand years ago, long before Greenwich was founded, I lived here in the Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at, at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life, living off the land. Then one day, out of nowhere, Rand appeared. I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Brenna. <gasps> I never had seen a human before, for one thing. But even though she had never met a dragon before, she looked at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean you couldn't? Even as a dragon? No, we dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal. And sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I could naturally shapeshift and breathe fire, like any dragon can, but I couldn't cast spells. Rana said she'd been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was surprised, as you are, that I couldn't do any. Reverie was a world full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually, I wore her down. She realized, though, I didn't have enough mana to cast spells. So to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Brennan was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up asking for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Renna built a tower to call her home. Then we built a small magic school to the north and started ta uh, taking on students. I had picked up on Renna's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. But before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the goddess of magic. Desert? That, that, you're Mike, Desert? Dasher. Desert. You right, bud? We can't hear you. You, you sound like you're, you're a thousand miles away. Uh, okay. You okay, uh, Dasher? Move, move, move closer to your mic. I think there's some going on in the background. Uh-oh. Oh. I, maybe no, we'll wait. Just... Is Miranda a goddess or not? There's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. There's something I don't understand, though. It sounds like Renum's getting along so well in Reverie. So what happened? Why is she looking for revenge trying to take away your own magic? Hmm. Renna didn't leave by choice. There was an incident. There's I'm always sorry. one. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. One I've spent the better part of a thousand years repressing. I don't know what's happened to her in centuries since then, and I have no idea who this Javis character is she's traveled with. But that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about Reverie. How does she know about Javis? And it's also why I can't face her. It was in the letter. Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Meeting Verna was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, <clears throat> but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. And even if that wasn't the cause, the case Verena was... She was a dear friend of mine. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. Oh, Dad. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Verena, but... Well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance. And I've never been one to turn down a pupil in need. I can see my, for myself what she meant by that. You seem lost. So I'd like to propose a little special trick. It's the least I can do after you came all the way up here. <clears throat> Sorry, but I don't know if we all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know! 
But whatever your roles are in this, I don't think you're ready just yet, physically or mentally. And well, in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can't. And what I can do is teach. I mean, sure, I guess. It's not like we're going to get any better ideas, right? Sir. I, I'm in, I suppose. Excellent. As a little warm-up, I'm running low on the special dragon berries I use to make my dragon berry tea. You four can help me gather some in the mountains while I make some preparations back here. Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one, in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. Okay. You can see that room later. Okay, that that that's training room. Yep. Oh. She is freezing out here. How is it? How is it? How is it? It's cold in the middle of summer. We are high <laughs> up in the mountains, but also the climate in certain areas of this island is dictated more by magic than by seasons. Ren and I may have had a hand in that. Okay, hold on. We we prep for this. Everyone hold still for a second. We got Not a better. Fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Jody, I told you to make the cold weather outfit. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. It's not that cold. It's literally snowing. Relax, I've dealt with worse. I'm a snow tiger. You have any idea how cold Bradport gets in the winter? <laughs> fine, fine. Well, let's head out. Right. First, I think we be best if you split off into pairs. Really? Okay, well, the Melody and I will... I, 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 I'm the teacher here. Allow me to make the teams. Damn it. I sense some tension within the group. You've all been under a lot of pressure lately, and I think you could use some room to breathe. Perhaps some time apart on this little wilderness sabbatical will allow you to see the things from a different perspective. Allison, you should go with Jody. Right. Melody will go with Claire. Okay. Light up your equipment if you need to, then let me know when you're ready to go. All right, scenarios. Let's do it. All right. If you don't just yet, come tell me when you're ready. Okay. We don't want to tell you that we're ready. We weren't the scale Progression and all. Ready, split up? Remember, it's Allison with Jody. Melody with Claire, you're also going to be out there for a while, so make sure you've got everything you need. Okay, so if, if it's going to be about that, then, okay, so... Jody and, Al Jody and Allison are probably going to be fine. Yeah, I I, I think I'll just uh, <laughs> grab out the uh, Optimus. <laughs> okay, as like I said, Jody and Allison are fine. Like, I, I, like uh, me the uh, Melody and Claire one is going to be the tougher of the two. Oh, would you look at that. You're doing Melody and Claire right off the bat. Well, we, we can <laughs> now uh, yeah, have a chance to do that. But um, it's... <sighs> oh my god. You okay, Sturkio? I'm getting very sleepy. Uh-oh. Okay. How well... are you feeling, Freeman? I can stay in for thought. another hour at least. Yep. Yeah, just... Uh, hey, whoa, Dragon whoa, Bears. Whoa. Got some dragon bears. So, hey, up. you've been awfully quiet lately. I'm a pretty quiet person. Maybe, but not like this. You barely said a thing all day. Are you doing okay? What? Look, I know something happened with you and Allison. You can talk to me about it if you want. Are you, like, cool without acting like nothing's wrong between you two? Could I not be? You tell me. No, I don't want my girlfriend to sulk. I don't want to bring the whole thing down with me. I don't just focus on the mission and try to make myself useful here. Besides, I know Allison's going through her own crap right now. She's just better at hiding it around you. Sorry, I didn't mean to prod. Let's just look for more berries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Maybe I, I could, like, give her a geomancer. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah... This is kind of tough. Mm. I mean, Allison did, or Claire doesn't need spell weight lately. Yeah, she's gonna be hurling spells. Okay. East, west. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you want to stop there? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, uh, right. yeah. I'm not sure how yeah. it's long. Dash are getting sleepy. Yeah. Well, well, well me well, and Dash are well, getting sleepy. Zircon well, is having a few issues. Well, maybe, maybe like, uh, Dash <sighs> needs help with the uh, mic problems. Like, mm -hmm. No, my mic's fine. My mic is fine. Then why why did all the issues like that we not hear you the whole time? I don't know. I haven't been sleeping. That's why I'm dead tired. Dead tired. No sleep. Yeah. No stressed out. Oh yeah. Well, no, no. Then get to bed. Oh, dude, get to bed. Yeah. Oh. Although it's a pretty short stream, it was a pretty uh, good one at that. Yeah. Well, yeah, yes. Uh, it was, it was nice. We got to meet Zinnia. Mm-hmm. And oh, the yeah. thing is that you could actually stream another game to pad out. I don't yeah, we can we can it. finish up reloaded if you want. We would be a good idea. You you know, I could think think of something. Y yeah, actually, you're right. You're you're right. Why haven't I thought about this earl earlier? Uh sometimes we just don't think about it until oh, oh yeah, I could do that. Okay, yeah. but yeah. Also, all right. All right. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and like stop recording.